Welcome back guys to Trails in the Sky second chapter where last episode we made it to the peak of the Esmolas Tower for its altered space confronting Phantom Thief Blue Blank and engaging him alongside his balancing clowns. On defeating him the weird effect triggered by the beta seemingly just switched off before the elusive enforcer made his escape. Our group next moved to the Carnelia Tower as we now continue to make our way through the altered space with Zinn ready for a fated battle against Walter the Direwolf. Right, let's go this way, see which way we're going for treasure chests and which way we're going for warps at this point. That's a warp. Get out of my way. That's a warp too. Okay. Not what we're looking for. And that's a warp too, but there might be a treasure chest behind this. Nope, it's just nothing. Which one to take? Well, at least we know we can withdraw if it's the right one. And we got the wrong one, which is great. I take an EP charge too. Josh, we're so close to level up. You took a gamble on something being in the chest, and I'm afraid you lost. No, I won. I already got it. Taiji Garb again. What's your wonderful day full of treasure chest plundering? Taiji Garb. Alright, we gave that to you first of all, because it has ATS on it, doesn't it? So, Kev, that would be perfect for you. Beautiful. Except sometimes it doesn't let me get out. Any more gear I can get the better at this point. Cannot complain. Let's fight you, based on the fact that I think Joshua really isn't far from leveling up. Do I bother attacking? Nope, I missed anyway. <laughs> Guess that answers that question. I want to go after Joshua does. Let's go for a follow up white Gehenna, maybe. That'll get him. I went down to begin with. Follow up with a nice water burst to the middle one. If I didn't somehow skip past it. Bam! Bam! And I'm guessing Joshua should finish it off quite fine. It should be like a meditate command, so you can like stand, you can spend the turn focusing and getting CP. Maybe. Makes sense to me. Only eight experience for Josh. Let's open for a bit more. That's why I fought those guys. I was like, oh, he'll give me a bit more experience, won't he? That guy will give me a bit more. Nope. Nope. All right, this looks like the right way. I said, if it is the right way, we should be able to bunt into a recovery place. There's loads of chests though, however. Alright, there's a ram powder. Empty chest stomach gurgles. Is it the right way? Hmm. EP charge 2. The chest proud possessions have already passed to some wandering adventurous satchel. Probably yours. Probably mine. Do you know what? I'll head down on this one then. I'll go the other way. Because I'm expecting just a single platform like we just got. So what I should do is I should go up here then, loop round. I love that the monsters stay dead when I actually kill them. Can you get out of the way of my way though? Single platform. I don't know. Even if it's not, then I might get a recovery platform. Which is, I'm happy of getting two, you know. Yeah, Celestial Bomb. Tell the chest to say, ah, it obliges. Everything seems to be in order here. What else have we got? Material bar. I don't think there's an open every chest in the game trophy, but even if there were, you've already opened this one. I think there is, actually. <laughs> At least on Steam, right? Blue Falcons. If you want something else, you're going to have to sign this legally binding contract. 
After all, Steam has its achievements. So Blue Falcons on you currently. They are speed, agility, move, etc. We will keep them off Joshua for the time being then. Though they really do belong on Joshua. <laughs> like super, super belong on Joshua. I want the ATS on Joshua too though. For me, opening every chest in a game achievements is just something unobtainable. I will miss one. There is no way feasible I will not miss one. I try. But there are too many games with like deviations that you can miss things at. Ah! Monsters! I don't have enough for death scream anymore. Uh oh. Someone's on a critical as well, so I should probably steal that. Hmm. Here come the bad guys again. Here's the problem. I might knock people outside of the ranges that I want. Now, granted, they're going to move before anything else happens. True just end again. I really do not want to be hit with whatever that critical is going to be. Oh, thank you for hitting Zin. It hardly does any damage. Oh, yeah, keep hitting Zin. Okay, this critical is probably not going to be too bad because it's on the small robot. Hi, guys, Prayer Paying Arts. It looks like they'll get one art off first. Such a messy pack of monsters. Oh, oh. Joshua starts on a critical. We've got our summons again. And they've been sucked into oblivion. So technically, Kevin's white Gehenna only hits one target. The other technically is we really finished up that group of monsters very quick. Especially when you count like wax like that. In. How much experience do these guys give you, Josh? Four. He might be ever so near a level, but I'm probably gonna have to feed him an EP charge at this point. Oh! What a hit! <laughs> they messed with the wrong guy. So close, Josh. Kevin didn't level either. Got some more blue sepith. So I'm happy with that. Water stuff. A long barrel free is obtained. Wait, is that the first long barrel free I've got? I had a long barrel two before, didn't I? I think it is. Even more range if you need it. Alright, let's give you an EP charge then. Barely took any damage that time. I mean, why should I skimp in using them? I've got so much items that I've never used before. And then it'd be disrespectful to the chests, right? I gotta save it. Save these gifts of the lovely chests. Can't just use them willy-nilly. Material bar. Watch out! This chest has nothing to lose. No telling what I might do. Is it gonna jump on me? Eat me? Monsters? No, it's sapphire gem. Not exactly shy, are you? Right. So now. We've got something a little bit different, and we can't put it in anywhere yet, because the only level 3 slot I have is a solid slot. Okay, War Elemental Value 12 is basically a Mind 5 gem. ATS plus 15%, ADF minus 5. Better than your old stuff. So, did I manage to not find one in the previous tower? I'm really confused now. Did I miss something? Bloody hell, I probably did. Not they shy, are you? I thought I went everywhere. Obviously, I didn't. Tear or bomb too. I'm also sure you understand the definition of empty. Unless I found it and I didn't realise. <laughs> That'd be funny too. But I think I actually missed something in the previous place. Interesting. 
And that's why I said, I'll miss some treasure chest. Jewel bomb. You probably wonder how many jelly beans you can fit in a treasure chest of this size. How many jelly beans do you reckon? A yin yang gem now? Look, I know you don't have anything, but we can still hang out, right? Wait, come back! A yin yang gem is what Kevin's already got on, so we guess we can just give one to uh, Chloe and Kevin now. That works too. Dear old bar. Well, hello! Welcome to Treasure Chest Village! You sure are a funny looking treasure chest. Oh, a special looking treasure chest. The sexiest treasure chest you've ever seen. Well, that's our goal. Also showing that I didn't need to give Joshua that stuff at all. I wonder what gem I missed then. I missed a sapphire gem here. Probably wouldn't have been anything as good as a miner. I don't know, maybe it'd be an attacker to be honest. Proxy puppet as a last find. If the chest could talk, it would say, You took my stuff already! You git? Right then, Walter the Direwolf awaits us. We do have CP on everyone but really Zin. It's time for the battle. How did I miss a gem that far back? I do not know. Do you think Walter will be a bit of a stronger foe than we thought before? This time we don't have everyone above like level 70 plus. We're just missing out a bit for Kev. Zin's 72. Estelle is 73. Joshua's still 75. He's so close to leveling. In fact, he'll level from a battle. We've got new gear. We've got new weapons. I think it's ready to go. Didn't find a bomb. No bombs in here. No bombs for me, I'm afraid. But there is a Walter the Direwolf. Finally here. That was definitely a climb. Hm, figured you'd be dropping in. Walter. Zim, you'd come. And hey, it's Fangboy. Been a while, kid. It has. I'm surprised though, Walter. You never mentioned being part of the school Zim trained at. <laughs> yeah, well, I've pulled in a lot of styles aside from just a tight end school. Got a verse five, you want to beat people to death with their own arms, you know. No big surprise, you never noticed. Walter, you. So about you, Zin. Still clinging that dusty old living fist? Yeah, well, you know, I'm a clumsy guy. Really, I could never hope to be half as good as our master was in Taito if I tried branching into other styles. As dull as ever. Ah, oh, whatever, I was getting bored just sitting up here. Time for a good old fashioned deathmatch. You've got robot beasts? Wah! Still cougars! I like beasts. More than society's tools. You have fun playing with those kids. So come on, Zim. Show me. I want to see those moves you've been working on for six years. I'll be more than glad to. Do you think I can taunt him? Something tells me I doubt that. we got a critical coming up. Still cougar. Times two. No nest... Necessary weakness, very nimble cuts prey to pieces. We've got Walter the Enforcer, level four. Oh, Enforcer 8, not level 8. Blue Ace foes with his murderous fist. Right, we know one thing we want to get on straight away. As long as Boss Man's slowed down, it makes life a lot easier. Alright, sacrifice his own CP to raise the CP of others by 40. I don't think I need to use that right now. For El Sophia, I'd like to gain some more talent, some more skills first. <sighs> I've got to imagine he might be coming towards me. But... I think buffing might help. You walk straight up to Zin's face. Now, do I just go all out for a critical here? Do I Black Fang to try to do damage across the whole group? Why not? It's a lower level skill though. But it did quite a bit. Alright, so you just rush through, which means you might be able to multiply hit people. 
and they move very blooming fast. Clock down though works out for getting one of the ads as well. And now we got a faster Joshua. Alright, let the first hit come in. Infinity combo. Of course you went for Josh. Alright, do I go for a Thunder Dog kick considering they're right next to each other? Oh my goodness! Did that do two hits of damage then? Joshua got fainted? Are you kidding me? We need to get him up. Does it do more damage depending on the amount of people in range of the attack? So therefore, if people are close together, it can do ridiculous stupid damage? Cool. We're good to go. That's the Maniki Soup. Unless they got faint on them, isn't it? Keep buffing. Alright, let's get a death scream this time then. Especially because it's going to come out super fast. That's one of the doggies down. And now we got Zin ready to move in. Still, we should take out the dogs first and foremost, no matter what. But, yeah, attacks like that aren't going to do much, are they? Another death screen, maybe? Come in on Kevin, are you? Don't you fake me again. These death screams are insane after all. Even with speed ups, it seems a little slow at the moment. Are you close enough to go two hits again? Ah, oh, not close enough. I think I'll just be able to take one out. Oh, not enough. Not enough without the additional help of a certain someone. Just enough. Alright, you. One doggy left. And that leaves just Walter the Direwolf. I just wonder if I want to clock down him again. I mean, it has worked quite well. Getting it on him again so he's just slow to the end of time sounds like a great idea to me. Especially when you've got Zin ready to beat the crap out of this guy. Clock down, the ultimate strategy it seems. I actually don't think I need to clock down when I look at it. How many... How much HP are we looking at here? Hmm. I can get another spelling in time? Yeah, let's go for it. I've got more than enough to finish you. If you had an S-Craft, he never got to use it. We smashed him down and leveled up. Joshua levels to 76. As Kev gets himself a little bit more experience as well, not quite enough to 70 by the look of it. Zin gets his bit of a revenge. Right, EP charge 2. I don't really need it. Order is defeated. Ah, that's about what I expected. 
Not bad. Your forms are all pretty refined. You ain't lying about being clumsy. Your movements are so obvious. That's because you're so stuck on sticking to just that ragged old Taito style. <laughs> and what's so damn funny? You really are a genius, but you lack understanding of a core principle. The master must be ashamed. Oh? You lecture me in place of the old man now? I wouldn't presume to do anything so great as that. However, after matching fists with you, I understood. As I am now, it would be very difficult for me to win. Conversely, I wouldn't lose either. Your bloody fists cannot defeat me. Interesting. Never thought I'd hear something that gutsy come out of your mouth. I thought I'd just have a taste to kill sometime. But we're past that now. Assume your stance, Zin. It's about time I taught you just what the hell difference in ability really means. What should we do? Should we help? I... I think this has to be Zin's fight. You missed! <laughs> Damn! You're sticking with it pretty well, but after all that preaching you did, I was hoping you would. You're doing well too. Damn it, Walter! How could you allow yourself to be dragged down in the darkness with abilities like yours? If you walked the path Master showed us, you would have reached the pinnacle of righteousness. You really gonna stand there and say that? You never actually figured out why the old man died, did you? What? <laughs> that one got your attention. Tell you what, if by some damn miracle you win, I'll fill you in on it. Your side of the bet is your life. Very well, if life is worth wagering for that. Thin! No, Estelle, we can't stop this. Ah! The hell? A chakram? Impossible! Kilika? What in the world are. The battle to defend Zeiss has ended. I left the receptionist's desk to Wong and came to see how you were getting on. See how we were, uh. Hang on, you got through the Shadow Tower by yourself! Kilika. Really? <laughs> now this is like old times. So what is it then? See how things are going? Maybe get some sweet, sweet revenge for the old man? Not at all. The match was fairly done after all. Why do you believe I would tread on father's will? Kilika. I'm simply here because I wish to say something to someone who disappeared six years ago. Nothing more. Something to say, huh? Alright then. So, Walter. Why did you never see me for who I am? I don't know the details of what father told you. I cannot imagine it had anything to do with what we had, however. Even more so with Zin. So it really didn't? I thought so. Walter, you are a fool. Did you really think father was the kind of man to hold such a thing against you? It, it had nothing to do with the old man. My problem to resolve. Now, now wait a moment. Walter, what did Master say to you? What would it have done, what, what would it have to do with me? Ah, shut up. I've got no obligation to tell you. Yes, it has nothing to do with Zin. It has everything to do with me. You disappearing without telling me was negligent at best. I have no lingering attachment to someone who could not see me as myself. You're welcome to be gone to wherever you wish, or to slink back to the nest of Ouroboros. However you choose, I will deal with you as a member of the Bracer Guild. Nothing more. <laughs> ah! It's reverting! <laughs> Job's done then. 
Okay, look up. Despite everything, I'm glad I got to see you again before the end. I am half glad and half despairing. I doubt we'll ever meet again. Yeah. The rest is between me and the big guy right over there. You can't even be a little sweet at a time like this, though. Cold as ice, right up to the very end. As I recall, that's what you fell for. Hmm, suppose I did. You too. Zim, if you want to know the reason me and the old man fought to the death, make me lose. Use that living fist he left you and beat me. What? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, hang on! Can I force a jump from this height and, like, not die? Not all of them can, no. But an expert like him, I wouldn't be surprised if he's fine. He used the wall to slow his descent. What incredible strength. Hmm, such a pest. Kilika, how did you know Walter would be here? You thought I didn't know. First Walter, then you. Tell me, why are men sometimes so simple? Uh, well... Hmm... I repent all my sins and beg forgiveness. Please just stop staring at me. Well, she sure got us pegged. My personal business out of the way, I will return to Zeiss. Good luck, everyone. Take care of the other towers. Kilika, thanks. Yeah, we will. What in blazes? She climbed the whole thing on her own? Ha! <laughs> Shouldn't actually surprise me, Kilika's always been quietly amazing. I'd always heard that Kilika Rulan of the Zeiss Guildhouse was a tremendously capable woman. I hope I have the chance to meet her in person one day. Um, Kilika and Julia together. Those two could probably juggle mountains working together. Anyway, it's just like last time. The towers return to normal, but the machinery atop it no longer functions. Yes, it's worrying. We also still don't understand the nature of those barriers that appear over the roofs. Um, I guess the question is, why are they covered up in the first place, huh? Personally, I think we can sweat that later. Right now, we need to get a move on to the next tower. Yeah, good idea. Julia, don't suppose we have any updates from the other towers? One came in not long ago from the Seville Tower. This time, it was a woman dressed in black wielding a bell, of all things. A bell? It's her! Luciola, the bewitching bell. She was once an acquaintance of yours, wasn't she, Sharon? Yes, yeah, she's an old friend. This means it's my turn to tag along, I suppose. Share it. If you don't want to... Come on, you. Don't make that face. Lucy is herself and I'm me. We can settle our differences if we have time. Our first priority must be to complete the mission we've been given as braces. chasing us, are they? Just a little further and we can meet up with the Minoria garrison. No, stop now. We must see these people safely there. Matron Teresa! Don't worry, Mary. We'll be fine. I won't let them lay a finger on you. We're in a lot of trouble, aren't we? Oh, no! Uh-oh. What? On the opposite side? Wah! Okay, you jerks. I guess I gotta... No, Clem. Get back here. Oh, idiots, please. Save us, your powerless children. Oh! Chain attack. Who are you? Hey there! Braces! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Everyone okay? Nobody hurt? Yeah. We're fine! <laughs> Good to see we made it. Kana! Sorry to meet you again like this, Matron Teresa. You evacuated to Minoria, right? Yes, the good soldiers here were escorting us. You there, soldiers. We shall hold them here. Yeah, hey, you guys hurry and get the kiss to Minoria. Y you have our thanks. Everyone, follow us. Okay. Coming!
Alrighty, looks like we've got our work cut out for us, huh? We still have to do it. Don't worry, this is nothing. Compared to what Estelle and everyone have to deal with at these towers, this is a picnic. Indeed. All we can do is to do our best here so they can fight without worrying for their loved ones. Why my arts become hard as steel. Come everyone, full of bell! Hell yeah, let's go! Woo! I wouldn't expect them to lose. Just imagine how strong the braces of Le Bill are growing throughout all these events. Not just that, like the worry, like the the army and all that. All this stuff is just actually kind of making everyone just. Is there anything going on in other countries like this exact moment that's raising the standard of people to this standard? And now we're off to ruin. I wonder how Matron Teresa and the kids are doing. The plans are going well. They're being evacuated to a safe location under army protection. I hope they're safe. I'm certain they'll be fine. We don't need to worry. That's all the army to work together with the guild to keep the battle and ruin under control. Joshua, thank you. Yeah, definitely. That isn't going to let anything happen to ruin. Yeah, the old man ain't going to screw up on this. Everyone, we're five minutes out from Sephil Tower. Shara. Yes, I'm ready. Once we arrive, we'll set off. Please, from your party, you may choose one other member aside from the mandatory members. We were with you, Kevin. Great. I want to switch back. I want to do one and one and one and one. Kevin will have time to level up in the next one, I'm sure. But the problem is, is like healing-wise at this moment. We're not using Tita, we're not using Agate. But technically, you'd expect to take Tita along to the next one, right? Agate's going to be the one who ends up as the low-level guy, isn't he? Oh, no! Agate, you've got a sword and everything! to get you in for anything else we're doing. I mean, he did just have a major story arc, so he's good. Alright, we have Chloe. We have the girls. And part of the main reason I wanted to put her in was let's get some of this filled out with stuff again. So that's your central course. Okay. We got a new yin-yang. Hazen heal yet again, but we also got this new ability, so if we can upgrade her first bit, I can put the sapphire into her. That's what I'm planning on anyway. Rune Rearguard, Norway Station. This is the RCL. Rune Rearguard, report your situation. I repeat, this is the RCL. Rune Rearguard, report. I repeat you? Huh? Who are you? Sorry, but please don't distract me. Now, this wind is really strong. Kieran's position is difficult. Don't they realize how hard it is to get a ship like this to hover? Hey, wait, you guys. We still haven't figured out what the source of the orbital field anomaly is. We could just figure out what it is. We could do something about it. Sorry, but I think we'll be relying on you for a while longer. The ruined rearguard diversion has arrived safely in Minoria. According to reports, they evacuated all civilians living near the roads. We avoided one disaster at least. Alright, let's head through the thing, talking to everyone yet again. Thanks for the sloop. Geo Woman made it to the top of Canadia Tower. Wow, she must be incredible. I bet our Captain Schwartz could do the same. Just imagine, like, the, the, po the combat potential of the build is just rising all the time with these guys. Hey, Bracers! I used to just stall, so I thought I was about to clear my head a bit. I wonder what's going on with the town. Very strange. I'm worried about my little brother in the room. I hope the town's safe. I hope it is as well. We've gotten where the society forces act in rune as well. They seem to have men everywhere in the kingdom. We need to strengthen our patrols in the future, it seems. Who's out here today, then? Hello, Antoine. What are you doing out here, anyway? Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> Looks like someone is trying to tell us something. Maybe he wants to give us something. Meow! You're giving us this book. You have a book. I'm a jack room, too. Of a cat. Thank you, Antoine. Meow! Well, this is special. But meow, meow! Oh, look who's sunbathing. <gasps> Scritches time! Wow. We have a longer bedtime story to read at the end of this episode, I feel. I know one in there. Shara's not drinking anymore. Agate! And they got the good stuff out. They got the whiskey going. Now everyone, heading for the tower. Yes, once we're done preparing. Taking a break, Zim. To be honest, I would like to take a chance to rest. Perhaps meditate. But now is not really the time. If you're cool, I'll be ready. No need to push yourself. After all, you took down water. You can afford to rest. Yes, don't strain yourself too much. <laughs> Thanks for the thought. No need to hold back for my sake, though. Just say the word. 
You ever showed up? You up, Noah? Looks like it, yes. Sorry, I can't stay and have a drink. You just decide if you need my sword, I'll come along at any time. You need me, just say the word. Hm. Thank you, Mr. Heavy Blade. No, I owe you one. Seems like the entire country's gone completely barking mad. I'm sure our boys below have got their hands full. Now, what I'm saying is, it's great that we've got you lot to take care of these blasted towers. I need to sell some more stuff to get Shara a weapon that she'll probably get in the tower again. The sea may seem to disappear, but it's just dispersed into the atmosphere. Conservation of matter and energy, the same's got to apply to this. The orbital energy's got to be stored somewhere. Shadow towers have folded dimensions. Will that be where the disappearing orbital energy is going? That is the question. He is thinking quite well. Alright, time to improve the defense a little bit, sadly. Strager G as well. Alright, you got prevent plane sleep confuse. You've got oh yeah, that's the one thing we need to do, isn't it? Forgot about that one. Switching of items on Mr. Kevin. That is the one thing I forgot about. I have to talk to one of the <laughs> I went back up here because, of course, if I switch out Chloe, she'll appear up there so I can talk to her. But. Let's get Agate. No, no, no. To me. no that's wrong. Redo. Kevin. Get in there, Kevin. I need to strip you of your equipment again. That's. That's. Other healers now. Actually, should I speak to, go speak to her? Speak to Chloe again. Just got to give back her answer after all. After this trip round. Well, Stel, Joshua, I just received word from the guards force stationed in Menoria. Major and Teresa and the children were evacuated safely. Really? Yes, I said everyone's fine. Phew, that's a relief. Yeah, I've been worried about them. Still, with the towers as they are, no one can let their guard down. Yes, it may be a bit early to rejoice. Right now, we need to focus on the task at hand to get to that tower. Yeah, you're right. If you're ready, Chloe. Yes, if you need me, simply ask any time. I am prepared. Everyone, please be careful. Well, let's get you in now. Together now. It's quite a strong party we're going with. I like the fact that uh, every encounter we fought as well is, is not uh, just against the enforcer. It's an ads battle too. They bring reinforcements. So they feel like we are strong enough to take them then if they are fielding reinforcements. Anything else to buy here? No, just the build issue 9. That's kind of interesting to me too. They don't feel good enough to take us one on one, but then of course, the way the gameplay shows after the fact. <laughs> you know, always shows that they never lost, isn't it? They can easily take us on. Alright, here we go. Almost feels like the hand of society can reach across the whole kingdom. Reminds me of how things felt during the coup. What is up with groups plotting awful stuff that's springing up like weeds these days? Bloomin' weeds! Get off my lawn. Oh, hi, Estelle. Hi, Tita. How's the professor's research going? Oh, um, even Grandpa's having a hard time with those barriers. He keeps saying he just doesn't understand the principle behind them. I see. The barriers must likely have something to do with the mission the enforcers have been given. Without a solution to breach them, it will be straightforward. Well, there's little point in sitting here moping around about it. We can leave studying it to the professor while we enter the towers the old-fashioned way. And we find the towers might lead to some hints to help his research. Yeah, and there's the data crystals too. You're right. Let's focus on investigating the towers for now. The old-fashioned way. Speaking of which, give me a slot upgrade. <gasps> I still don't have enough? Oh, I can upgrade that slot, but I can't upgrade that slot? Well, that's problematic. So I have to put a water one in there. Just because it requires that little extra war. Damn. Can't believe I'm missing that small bit. have a mind gem on you or anything like that. I do have an EP3 knocking around, don't I? Ah, oh, man. What do I do about that, then? I 
Do you need the EP Cut 4? Yeah, that's the one we're missing. Ah, oh, I think he's got the EP Cut 4 on him. Ah, oh, what? I really wanted to equip that. Okay, if this is how it works. No problem. Give me the stuff back, you. S -s Switching is so annoying. If only I could just make some water set if. Well, there's an alternate way for me to obtain it. That'd be great right now. That'd be too good. Alright, again, augment. Chloe can have a mine four that is horrors. And the EP cut. Four, that will give her lots and lots of stuff. So who can I upgrade a slot with here? And maybe get that special slot slotted in. I mean, that's the that's a mind gem right there, right? I'm just going to do Joshua then, maybe? Joshua's going to have all the EP, because he is our big spellcaster right now. Let's face it, he is our big spellman. That was my fault there too. So now we can put the Sapphire Gem in there, give him ACS plus 15%. So he has gained more attack power through that quite nicely. Ah, anything else in the shop we need to buy? Well, we could buy the Gallant Sword. That is better for her. But we would have to sell, of course, a lot of stuff again. Echo's Claws, Gigan Arm, we can sell both of those. We sell the Windlass and the Composite Bow. It's easily made enough money to get it. And I bet you we'll get that so fast when we step in there. It'll be silly how fast we manage to get this new weapon. Right, Galliant Sword there. So that's all her stuff equipped. We've equipped that. I found a new data crystal to do. Let's get it set into Capel and start the auto analysis program. Thanks. So I'll hand over all the data crystals they found. I'm afraid we still know very little about that barrier we got from the top of the towers. If we can make some progress deciphering that data crystal, we might get a clue. And I'm going to focus on getting some practical use of that idea of mine. Let me say, between the shallow towers and those barriers, I'm not lacking for things to research. I bet you're not. Hello, everyone. Good work so far. It seems the professor's research is stuck on something. The researchers just went out for a quick break. You can't really make progress or anything if you just keep flung away at someone when you're stuck. Maybe you guys could use a little time in the break room as well. I should be fine. Oh, Joshua's getting all the upgrades. No one else is allowed an upgrade at this point. We've got the Sapphire Gem slotted. I don't think anyone else is. Oh, Kevin's down here. Man, climb that shadow tower like there's nothing at all. Hideous. I don't know if I'm what I'm feeling. It's fear or crush. Well, if it helps keep his guys on our toes, I guess. Right, Joshua? Leave me out of this, please. Not sure hates it whenever guys bring him into a conversation. You guys are really working it. Keep it up. Tell me what's happening to Phil Tower, I bet. Let's descend on the lift. Right then, just jump on the plate and you'll be off. Hopefully I get a lot of water stuff here in this Phil one, isn't it? That is a sapphire, it's a Phil. And I'm really upset that I probably missed myself one of these special gems in the first place. Why did I miss a chest? I'm sure I picked up every chest. Maybe I didn't. Miss it, that is. The hell, there's still monsters here? We're way down the path. Could we actually head into, like, ruin? This full tower. I wonder where we'll get punning off to this time. There's no real way to know until we go in. Like the normal towers, the shadow towers don't seem restricted by conventional spatial definitions. They could be large inside. Constrained only by the will of their builders. That's a bit nerve-wracking to think about. Regardless, we have to go in one way or another. Come on, let's proceed carefully and deliberately. In we go. Are you ready, Shara? With all your wind spells and abilities, you even got clocked down too, so life's looking good there. In fact, you're built for fire on top of that. Which might be what we need here. Too bad we can't straight up by Sephiroth. Yeah, it is. All 
Right, in we go. And we're obviously going to get ourselves a fair bit of water step if here. If not from monsters that we can fight along our way. But of course, the monsters themselves aren't exactly a great amount of experience for us at the moment. At least from chests that we see. That's the real problem at the moment. The monsters aren't going to give us that much experience, are they? We're still in the white henna, right? Everyone needs to regen some CP no matter what, so it's worth fighting the enemies. Let's put it that way. Oh, are we done already? Okay, 617 experience for Sheriff. She needs a lot of the experience that we're getting here. And even a bit for Josh. So maybe the level of the enemies is actually going up. I don't know at this point. Any way to find out is to keep on fighting, really. <laughs> that said, level ups were getting a pretty good too. Can't complain. Even Chloe's getting him for some nice physical damage now. Not enough! But enough to get her to 100 CP at the very least. Joshua, you have very short legs. That was my well, wait, again, it was my go-to art for Joshua and FC, yes, but now it's now it's death screams. Here we go, get the blue sepith rolling in. This is what we need. I'm more interested in finding myself a treasure chest right now. I'm not getting past you that easily then. Alright, so they are fire weak, aren't they? We should at least have a fireball, I think. We actually have a fair bit, to be fair. Pretty sure mostly everyone has fire of some variety. <laughs> Is it just Chloe who might not have it? Does Estelle's attack do enough? Yes, Chloe has it. She has Forte, she has Fireball. And I'm pretty sure Sherry has cast too, right? Well, you do better than Zinn, Estelle. That's all you can really hope for, Duns, isn't it? What? You do better than Shara? When did Shara's ATS go down? I thought she was better than that. I know Joshua's short movement because of the course he has on. Don't worry about that. I like to make a joke at his expense. Everyone else was just legging it around everywhere. Sherry is on the level, yeah. She'll get a little bit more power. Maybe there is level scaling for damage scales. That's the thing to wonder, really. Shining Bomb would be great right now. And she wouldn't be. If you try to open the empty chest, you break part of the corner off. Hoping nobody knows, just put the piece down and briskly walk away. We are the bad guys now. Hmm. Do I bother attacking? <laughs> Let's move to an angle. Hey. One of them. Oh, what the hell? They're on 13 and 8. That's quite surprising they survived that one. Sherry is a bit more of a physical attacker to be fair as well. Alright, it's bonk you over there. I want to get myself my new weapon. It must be in a chest nearby. Alright, Chloe levels up to 72. The wait, Kev will be your chance soon. Celestial Bomb. You scour every square inch of this chest's empty innards, desperate to find any scrap of treasure you missed. There is no fear. Smelling salt stew. Empty. But that should come as no surprise. We did steal it. Alright, wait, get hens again. That thing's gonna survive on like no HP again. Which is irritating. Alright, 
Alright, if I get one fireball on you, then Shara should be able to do the cleanup on multiple opponents. Even giving him a third upgrade slot, though, I feel like we haven't gained super amounts of uh, EP for Joshua. But the ATS at plus even more is really good. Can't complain. I look like Shara got engulfed in that. Alright, last target. Job done. And that's share level. 67 for her. She'll catch up in no time. Alright, Fanny Pichage. Treasure chest advertising for the low, low price price of 200 mirror per month. 900 mirror per month is quite a lot, you know. I don't get that much money that fast. This chest is but an empty husk now. Do not mourn, for it is the fate of all things. And water step it times 300. Now that's a good chest. What are you expecting to find it? Exactly what I was hoping to find. <laughs> Uh, what? Just now, was that? Get down! Oh, oh. You're not gonna let me in there, are you? But you're gonna give me the music, so I'm happy. We've got Gundol B, calls for backup and sustains damage. Weak to fire. But well, we got our music, so I'm happy. I think you're about to sustain some damage. Chloe! <laughs> this is the music, yeah? I put this one on YouTube sometimes and just listen to it. This is like a good grinding music in my opinion. Well, it's gonna live through the first barrage of four fireballs, but only barely. Joshua cannot reach, so he better use another fireball. Because his cast and speed means he will get it off before the monster even gets a chance to go again. That's that point. Move out. We're using a lot more arts late game, aren't we? God, Estelle's not far from leveling up again. Alright, well, monster dealt with. We found ourselves another one of these. About the Oleo Seal, one of four. When we were something in on something in the underground, something. Unto brothers are deal and then cover and the oriole and yeah, that's a bit more of a thing. The bomb is Oriole's electric simulations or something? And he was lost to something. What the hell? However, the something in this disaster was someone got lost inside it? Inside the seal or something? Oh, I'm so interested. Well, well, well. Nothing else here but another way up. But it seems the bewitching bell is waiting for me on every step. Every time I'm going to reach one of those podiums, it seems we're going to hear a bit more of that music. Now that's what I'm after. Ah! Another big chest monster. Right, these are the anti art guys too, aren't they? Use the sound waves that affect status. DB Series Doom. Bit worrying. Kinda need to do a death scream tonight. Very muchly so. I think I can make you move first. I can hit those three at least. Oh, I'll try and get a death blow or something. I don't think. Robots like death blows that much. Oh, yeah, that's what their kind of feature is. They're not very good at you killing them. They have high defense, don't they? Forgot about that. 
We have Titanic Roar. We can follow up with that as well. I mean, I'm more interested in getting Joshua ready for more, to be fair. Camphor could work too. Just to lower the physical and strength of that. Oh, cool allies? I'm completely fine with them calling allies. Scarminion B is preparing to use arts. Scarminion B is preparing to use arts, but we're about to wipe out the world in some respects. Spiral flare on these guys, maybe? Yep, that works for me. Come on, Death Scream. Do your work. Some things lived. Lots of things lived. More things than I thought would live have lived. And that's not even really enough to deal them. I should have followed up with Titanic Roar. Ow. Ah, I got sealed, did I? That could be why I didn't. That's an annoying ability to have landed then. Alright, are you fast enough to do another death scream and take out loads? Yes, you are. That's the small guys down and out. They're dealt with. We're a little bit better off, aren't we? Apart from everyone standing right next to each other into a doom beam. Oh, uh, and the fact they can call even more allies. Yes, everything's good apart from that. Another death scream, then. We're out. We're out. Still get a bit full, though. Just in case that doesn't finish off the job. Yep, it will on that one at least. Well, Joshua's going to be strapped for EP, so we're going to have to feed him a little bit of good stuff. But it's the fastest way we can get rid of those. Big, gnarly spells. The small one went down. Everyone is healed. And the last attack comes in. At least Cher has a nice EP to play with. What is in the box? 1,000 experience for Cher takes her to level 68 as well. Let's just spring it on a little bit more. Lovely amount of blue Sepith. No new skills learnt. But Avenger was earned. Whatever riches once lay in this chest, it's just an empty vessel now. Ooh. A new weapon for Joshua. But we use his spells, not his physical. It's not that big of an increase. Only 11 damage. A pair of black swords made from feather-like material. I'll take that. Not Sharer getting a new whip. But I think we're going to stop it for this session. In our third tetracyclic tower. How long will this chapter play for? I target the bewitching bell, and so I leave you with a bedtime story. Not one, but two. I think it's been possibly a fortnight worth of time that I've done an effort, haven't read Gambler Jack. I don't know when the last time we read it was. I can't remember. But we have Gambler Jack, volume nine and volume 10. Let's finish with a little bit of light reading. Nostalgia, chapter nine. On well, how it set and contemplated the past, Jack was hunched at the bar counter in the main hall. It was a spot with a full view of the setting for the match to come. He stared at the stage, never once even touching the drink he'd ordered. The same seats, the same colours. The more he looked at it, the more it felt as if the events of seven years ago had happened only yesterday. A voice started Jack from his reverie. How about a drink on me then? Without turning, he worldly shook his head. Jack didn't need to look through seven-year-old memories to know that voice all too well. It was one. Seven years ago, one had bet on King's victory and loss. The one who had punished King with death was, without a doubt, this man. Jack, your skills took down even King. I'm looking forward to seeing him again. And with that, one disappeared. Jack taking down King, huh? Jack's lips 
twisted into a bitter smile. The clock ticked steadily away. It was 11.50. The match would begin in 10 minutes. The guests had begun to gather in the hall. Every one of them seemed to have been waiting eagerly for this night. Many had money riding on the outcome. Compared to Enrique or Juan's contest though, they barely had anything to lose. Halle followed Enrique out into the hall. Taking a seat immediately, she sat quietly, eyes straight ahead. If she was bothered by the crowd or the enormity of the event, she gave no sign. After watching Halle take her place, Jack slowly rose from his spot at the bar. Like Halle, Jack had a bit of a name, and as he stepped forward, the crowd called out. He brought back more memories of himself from seven years ago, excited by the crowd and elated by the game. Jack and Halle were both seated now. The card table in the centre of the hall lay between them. The two faced each other, and yet their gazes never met even once. In total silence, time passed. Shortly after the two took their seats, a black-garbed man sat in a chair across from them both. Just like seven years ago, he was the dealer provided by Chief Minister Shamrock. The dealer pressed a switch below the card table. Slowly the table area sank into the floor, allowing the guests in the hall a bird's eye view of the jewel. From behind their respective bet players, Juan's group and Enrique's group cast intense gazes at the gambler's hands. Further back, behind it all and watching over everything, was Chief Minister Shamrock. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a revenge match, Enrique yelled, unable to contain his excitement. It had been seven years since they had had such a high-stakes game. The crowd answered Enrique's introduction with a roar of approval. Chapter 10, The Match Separated by the small card table, the two faced off. Each player had a man and a chips to wager. Once someone's power was reduced to nothing, the match would be over. The clock struck midnight. In the silence following the chime, the grand match between Jack and Halle began. At first, the match was totally even. For every hand Jack won, Halle won another. Whenever Halle won a hand, Jack had the next. Neither gave a leg it. The ones most surprised by this close contest were one of his crew. Everyone who had bet on Jack started to jeer and hoot. During the match, time and again, Halle spoke to Jack. Using conversation to distract your opponent was all part of the game, but Halle's persistence went beyond just tactics. However, Jack never said a single word back to her. 30 minutes passed. Breaking the silence, Jack suddenly spoke. Once upon a time, there was a man. In a voice so soft the crowd could barely hear, he continued. This man had something he admired. He wanted to become the thing he admired, and he wanted to win against the object of his admiration. And through it all, he was drawn closer to that which he admired. Both lay down their hands. Jack had one pair, Halley had two. Chips moved from Jack's man into Halley's. <laughs> what is it, Jack? It's all part of your plan. I would occasionally add a sarcastic remark, but Jack just kept on telling the story. The man stole some tricks from that which he admired and practiced his own skills as best he could. In the end, his efforts eventually made him strong enough that people called him victory. At some point, there was someone who took notice of their reputation. He, he thought, why not pit the best against each other? There's no show that could be better. Enrique's ears twitched. Something what Jack was saying bothered him. The man gladly accepted the offer for the show. It was the match of a lifetime with that which he admired most after him. The man's heart danced with excitement. Back then, that man was a young fool who didn't see the world around him for what it was. Certainly, he'd never have thought about what it would really mean to lose that match. Ali listened but made no reply. At some point, she had started to pay attention to Jack's story. The audience was just the same. Everyone in the hall strained to hear the tale tumbling softly from Jack's lips. The two played their cards. Jack had no pair. Halley had a full house. Chips moved from Jack's mountain to Halley's. Is he giving up the game? Knowing what the consequences could possibly be? That's a thought. When will we get more chapters? Who knows how many chapters there are left? Obviously people who played the game before, but that's not the point. As we stop here, in our third Tetracyclic Tower. I hope you'll join me next time for more Trails in the Sky, where we get even deeper into this, our seventh chapter. Two more enforcers at the very least await to face us. I'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.